Hello everyone, I am Mohaledin Bambaya. Let us talk about Fernando Amorsolo, a Filipino portrait artist and a painter. Amorsolo was born on May 30, 1892 in Paco, Manila. Don Fabian de la Rosa, his mother's cousin, was also a Filipino painter. At the age of 13, Amorsolo became an apprentice to de la Rosa, who would eventually become the advocate and guide to Amorsolo's painting career. During this time, Amorsolo's mother embroidered to earn money, while Amorsolo helped by selling watercolor postcards to a local bookstore for a 10 centavos each. His brother Pablo Amorsolo was also a painter. Amorsolo's first success as a young painter came in 1908 when his painting Leyendo el Periodico took second place at the Bazaar Escolta, a contest organized by the Asociación Internacional de Artistas between 1909 and 1914. He enrolled at the Art School of Liceo de Manila. After graduating from the Liceo, he entered the University of the Philippines School of Fine Arts where De La Rosa worked at the same time. During college, Fernando Amorsolo's primary influence were the Spanish people called painter Diego Velasquez, John Singer Sargent, and more. But most his contemporary Spanish masters, Joaquin Sorolia Bastida and Ignacio Zuloga, Amorsolo's first notable work as a student at the Lyceo was his painting of a young man and a young woman in a garden which won him the first place in the school exhibition during his graduation year. To make money during school, Amorsolo joined competitions and did illustrations for various Philippine publications including Severino Reyes' first novel in Tagalog language, Parusa ng Dios, Inigo Edregaldo's Madaling Araw, as well as illustrations for editions of the Pasión. Amorsolo graduated with medals from the University of the Philippines in 1914. Amorsolo is best known for his illuminated landscapes, which often portray traditional Filipino costumes, culture, festas, and occupations. His pastoral works presented an imagined sense of nationhood and counterpoint to American colonial rule and were important to the formation of Filipino national identity. He was educated in the classical tradition and aimed to achieve the, his Philippine version of the Greek ideal for human form. Amorsolo used natural light in his paints and developed the backlighting technique chiaroscuro which became the artistic trademark and his greatest contribution to the Philippine painting. A typical Amorsolo painting figures the outline against the characteristic glow and intense light one or part of the canvas highlights nearby details. Amorsolo was an incessant sketch artist often drawing sketches at his home at Doneta Park and in the countryside. He drew the people he saw around him, from farmers to city dwellers coping with Japanese occupation. The major works by Am Amorsolo includes Babayang Nagbabasa, Afternoon Meal for the Workers, Assassination of the Governor Bostamante, Bataan, The Bombing of Intendencia, The Building of Intramuros, Burning of the Idol, Burning of Manila, El Ciego, The Conversion of the Filipinos, Corner of Hell, The Lagang Bukid, Defense of Filipina Women's Honor, the La Destruction de Manila for Los Salvias Japoneses, Early Filipino State Wedding, Early Sulu Wedding, The Explosion, The First Baptism in the Philippines, The First Mass in the Philippines, Fruit Gatherer, Fruit Picker Harvesting Under the Mango Tree, Made in a Stream, Making a Philippine Flag, Marca Dimonio, The Mestiza, My Wife Salud, Juan Casualty, Our Lady of Light, Planting Rice, Princess Orduha, The Rape of Manila, Rice Planting, Cell of Panay, Sikatuna, Sunday Morning Going to Town, U.S. Senator Warren Magnuson Oil Portrait, Traders, and also the El Violinista. Among Amorsolo's awards and achievements are the 1908 Second Prize Bazaar Escolta T and Taki, 1920 to First Prize Commercial and Industrial Fair in the Manila Carnival, 1929 First Prize at New York World Fair 
for Afternoon Meal of Rice Workers, 1940 Outstanding University of the Philippines Alumnus Award, 1959 Gold Medal UNESCO National Commission, 1961 Rizal Pro Patri Award, 1972 Gawad CCP para sa Sining from the Cultural Center of the Philippines and more. Outside the Philippines, his exhibition were held in the Belgium at the exposition of the Panama in 1914 at a one-man show at the Grand Central Art Galleries in New York City in 1925 and at the National Museum in Tehran on November 6, 1948. During the 1931 Paris Exposition, a Marcelo exhibited one of his anecdotal painting, The Conversion of the Filipinos. Amarcelo's entry in the exposition in Panama were portrait of U.S. President Woodrow Wilson and the piece of La Muerte de Socrates at the, at the 1948 National Museum in Tehran. Amarcelo exhibition was sponsored by the Art Association of the Philippines. In 1950, Amarcelo exhibited two more historical paintings, Faith Among the Ruins and Baptism of Raha, Humabon at the Missionary Art Exhibit in Rome. In 1979, Fernando Amorzolo's legacy as a painter was celebrated through an exhibition of his works at the Art Center of the Manila, Hilton. His art was also featured in a 2007 exhibition in Havana. That's all for Fernando Amorzolo. Again, this has been Muhalidin Pambaya. Thank you very much and Assalamu Alaikum.